Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me back here in the world of a Southern Victory mod in Hoi 4. And, um, so this is not where we left off last time. It is now January 13th, 1919. Now, I can't exactly remember everything that happened beforehand, but let me give you a little rundown. So, 1919. Earlier, France actually lost the Great War. They capitulated, and this is just their borders. Uh, they pretty much just white pieced out. Um, yeah, they just white pieced out against Germany. They're like, we're done. We have 34 million manpower still in reserves. Even though we're on Disarm Nation, uh, maybe 300 divisions plus, maybe. Uh, that being said, I am now the leader of the Entente, which is, looks very gray. It doesn't look very good. Uh, you can barely tell that Russia is still in the Entente, as well as the Raj, and the UK. Italy never joined us, which is, I guess, historical for historical. Would you like to join our alliance, please? No? Okay. So I'm leader of the Entente. Uh, Russia actually was getting beaten back a little bit, but since the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians were attacking so much, they, well, they were doing what they were doing. So, I'm at 400,000 losses, five and, a half, five and a half million casualties for our Entente. Well, the Axis, Axis, no, not Axis, the Central Powers, lost over 14 million. Um, this does not include all the losses that they took against the French. So, because the French have white pieced out. What I've been doing is slowly but surely encircling enemies' armies, and this is why Denver looks terrible. Using my horses, which I literally just produced a tank division, heavy armor, which looks pretty good. Uh, 20 combat width, not bad. I don't have motorized, I think, so we had to use infantry for that, which is fine. Same speed, but the armor should be pretty good. And I want to break over here and destroy these divisions. It's slow going, that's why I didn't show you a lot of this. Um, we only have so much manpower. I think I'm on service power requirement, and we are mobilizing, which is good. Oh, uh, let's see. I, well, I do have some... I do need more mo early motorized, though. That'd be important. Radio interception group. I did start doing some uh, uh, this stuff as well, because I'd, I had nothing to do with my infantry. You know, my civilian factors for quite a while. So we got to kill these guys off over here. So, you guys, without... Oh, you guys are already here. Could you bust over here? I've just been doing encirclement so much off-screen. So that's pretty much all I've been doing, just busting in. I did make a couple planes, too, which is really nice. Sinking a couple convoys here and there. We still have our army over here. They expanded. We saved uh, Mexico. I, I To be honest with you, I actually had like a 20-minute recording of this already. And it was okay. I mean, I we push, I put some Mexican divisions over here. This army is was is over here. I made him push in until the out the Entente, not the Entente, the Central Powers are thinking, oh my goodness, we need to do something about this. So I figured, you know what, let's do something about that. And we're not winning here, because this is mountains. It, and this area sucks. Uh why? Just want to get Denver. Actually, you guys could probably help out. Attack him in the butt. Yeah, this division does not have a lot of organization. 38. It's not bad. Not great. We got delay doctrine done, which is good. I did finish up the normal, regular doctrine over here on the left side. But let's go with mobile defense. Be kind of nice. Field hospital threes. Good. Get field hospital fours. Over at 76. That's not bad. Oh, can you can you guys actually be? Yes, you can. Nice. Get the tank a little bit more organization, and we'll throw them back in. They're throwing more divisions in here. That's nuts. Could we attack somewhere else? Maybe. That's definitely maybe. And we also got rid of that pocket in there, finally. It took forever to get rid of that, as you can tell by the 1919 year. It took super, super long. Is there anywhere else we can attack? Ohio looks really bad. They broke over and pushes back out, but we're still over here, which is kind of nice. Three divisions, two divisions. I really pushed through the center quite a bit, so... We even have all of Nebraska, almost. Almost all of it. Which is nice. I could think maybe we get a Superman right there, but, eh. Where's the fun in that? You guys were just defeated. Keep it up. Help the attack. Because they are going to lose a lot of guys by doing this. They just lost one division there. Who was kicked out. And they might be moving back. Maybe, maybe yes, no. Throw all of you guys in there again. So that's why we... Casualties, casualties have been going up. Americans lost about 4 million, which is nice. Logistic companies are doing better. It's weird that it goes from 1918 to 1938, not even 1936. It's very strange. Maintenance companies would be nice. Good, good, good. Anyone else? They keep throwing in more divisions, and I'm going to keep doing the same god dang thing, son. Horses are out. That's okay. We'll throw them back in, because now there's only three divisions here. More military factories? We could use more tanks and more motorized. I'm going to go with more motorized. Oh my goodness, we have plenty of political power. I want to go to close economy, but we cannot, which really, really sucks. Really sucks. Uh, joint... 
exercises. That's not bad. Extraction for Montenegro probably isn't really worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Right there. Can I build any more civilian factories here? Oh, yes. Right there. That'd be good. And right there. Good. Build both those up because we want to trade for more resources. Especially rubber. Oh, I think we're also at war with the UK. Or not UK, but Brazil. Brazil it is. There you go. Seriously? This is why I did not decide to record most of this. Because this is incredibly annoying. It's incredibly tedious doing it like this. You are nearly full strength. And I've been. These uh, guys, they are 40 combat with two. So. Uh, it is what it is. Hey, we broke over there. We killed. We can kill at least one division. That's kind of nice. There you go. Kill them off. Good. This actually might help supply in here just a little bit more, actually. It would be very nice. Very, very nice. For you guys in here. I just want to kill four American divisions, please. Colorado takes forever to kill. Backyard Expansion 3. And then we'll go to Aviation Tech 2. Because I've researched a whole lot already. Yeah, you guys, you're looking really good. Help out here, help out here. Losses, 424,000. Over 4 million for the U.S. Not enough. Never enough. Oh, there's Austro-Hungarian debate. Are they all Austro-Hungarians, depending on the mountains up here? Wow, look how much we've lost so far. That's ridiculous. Thank God, we finally got it. Duh, you pieces of garbage. Yeah, help him out. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not, you're not doing that. You're all dying. Good. I really don't want to attack into the mountains with these tanks, because at this point, the tanks... I just lost so many tanks, it's not even funny. And come back over here, and maybe smash over to Ohio. Yeah, we could probably smash Ohio, come this way. Surround Columbus, and destroy him that way. That'd be good. How many divisions does the U.S. have? 88 to 117. We actually have more divisions than them now, which is nice. I'm not sure why they'd be attacking me here, but whatever. Um, I guess Germany took Morocco. I'm surprised. The UK took all the German colonies as well. Good. Uh, Russia's actually pushing into the Ottoman Empire. Nice. And they're holding off here. Yeah, it's 1919, and the Russians have not fallen to communism or any sort of communist revolt. Which is pretty good for us. Pretty good. Given that we lost France, which is weird. We get to extract some Montenegro people. Eh, I mean, we don't get much at all. That's okay. Machine, assistant description, good. Becomes a spy master? Sure, why not? Good. We are the leader of the Entente because the French gave up on us. Oh, the French. If that happens, push up there. I don't want to get that tough because I don't want to split up my forces, but we're going to go that way. We're going to surround Columbus. You guys should easily be able to do this. How many heavy tanks do we need? 300. My gosh. We have so many artillery pieces, though, which is nice. So nice. Yeah, just go there. Immediately come that way. We've got everyone moving up, so I'm not really too worried about it. You guys just meet up that way, which would be good. Good, 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 good. Good, and boom. Hey, look, an encirclement. Now, can they do anything against these guys? Can they pierce me? No. And that's a good thing. Smash this way, smash, 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 even though you're fighting over a river, which is a bad idea, but whatever. Smash, smash. There you go, a couple more divisions encircled, and Ohio will be ours. Well, a good chunk of it. Whew. Good. And they are gone. Beautiful. We're going to be from the front line here. That's pretty much what I've been doing for the past while. So, Jeb, you got anything for us? Anything of interest? Jeb, yes, infantry expert, yes. Tanks did a great job. It killed off a few more American divisions. Very good. Uh, right here might be really good. Oh, that's a river right there. River, Des Moines. Yeah, we might be able to push into Des Moines. Or I could just say, take that. But nah. Come out there. Da, 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 da. We can surround this little area here as well. I'm really trying to stretch out the American lines as best as I possibly can right now.
I mean, I could take Cleveland, but I don't really feel like it. We could, but whatever. Three, two, because we need more guns. One. They're still attacking me over here, which is nuts. Let's go ahead and do it. We should be fine. Without you, two, we're going to go from there. And without you, we'll go right there. And without you, you'll go right there. It'll only be three American divisions, but that's going to be three less American divisions, period, for the enemy. I'm also building up more ports and stuff for some reason. I forget why. It really doesn't matter too much. Support weapons one. Good. 1919. 15% more breakthroughs. Yes, please. For the love of God, yes. Can you pierce us? You should not be able to. Nope. And that's a good thing. I might want more than just my tanks to do that, but whatever. Help support the attack. Machine assisted decryption. Good. Hey, get up for spy. Jan. Hey, three Americanos. No, 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 no. You go bye-bye now. And they are gone. Beautiful. Let's reform the front line just so that we are spread out pretty nicely. The west sucks because of all the mountains. I love all the plains, though. The plains are the great, great place to attack. Come up here, get close to Chicago, and envelop a lot of these guys. That's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, let's do that. Come here. Whee! Break that way. The goal is to destroy enemy, uh, ships. Or ships? People. Divisions. Just destroy enemy divisions, that's all I care about. I mean, if, if we want to move that way, I mean, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, excuse me, guys. Well, we could do that, but now. Nah. Thank you. Couple more thingamabobs. A more chromium. Could use more of that. Good. Three, two, good enough for me. Hopefully, good enough for you too. I'm gonna avoid Chicago for now, as we all should, and then go that way. See what happens. So I have you guys up there too with you. Military police. Let me go that way. Extraction. That is casually 3,500 days ahead of time. Probably not worth getting. Honestly, probably not worth getting if it's 3,500 days ahead of time. Give me half you guys. You're gonna have to come this way too. We ain't messing around. We're going trucking through Illinois. Air bombing effect? Sure, why not? Good, and we're almost there. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go right on ahead. The horses can't even catch up, man. They're going crazy. Man, those tanks, those guys in tanks must be having a great time losing half of their strength. That's okay. And boom. Not a lot of divisions, but we don't need to kill a lot of divisions where we're going. Just all of them. Begin assaulting them. Good, they have no supply. Well, too bad for them. Yeah, taking over river. Not a great idea. There you go. Help them out. Good. Very nice. And there goes a couple more American divisions. Bye-bye. Division-wise, they are looking at quite a few less, which is nice. Are they still attacking me over here? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. I could try a general attack, but I don't really feel like it yet. I like stretching out the enemy lines first. Oh, Des Moines. I mean, there's so many waterways around here. I could push up through here. Break over. Come south. The U.S. has been trying to get more firearms, though. Which sounds very American. I could just slice them here, though. You know what? We might just do that. One, two, three. That's not bad. We've got room for it. Cool. Machine assist assisted decryption. Get another spy. Lucas. Good. You know, at this point, because we got three people here, let us spy this area. Let us spy. Uh, that's fine for now. And then let us spy over here in San Fran. Cool. You're not going to move, because I want you dead. 
do, and then boom, boom, boom. You know what? You can probably begin this yourself. As long as we link up with those people up there, that's fine. You guys will not be able to do anything against us. Help settle there. And you guys help settle up there. Boom! There you go. God dang, those things are nice. Immediately send them down south. And it looks like most of Indiana is us. Or ours. Close enough. God, I love tanks. Whee! Good. Give it a little bit of time. Reform the lines. Detroit. Losses. Well, they have less than 110 now. Guaranteed. If we try to general attack, we could do pretty well in the central Midwest as well as east. But the west is going to be just garbage here. Alright. We need a decisive victory. This side is looking god-awful. Hmm. I wanted to be over here, though. I need to break over into the mountains. Or we could just come here, come up there, come around, come around, and take that out. There we go. Boom, boom. Pop, because I I want to avoid these rivers as much as possible. I should probably go one, two, three, down south. That's probably our goal. Oh, what did I click on? What the heck? Okay, well, whatever. Transport vehicles, we could definitely use more. Definitely use more guns. Support equipment is looking amazing, though. And these guys are still only 18 combat width. Uh, logistics. Oh, transport vehicles. I cannot afford those transport vehicles right now. State guards. Chonkers. I love the chonkers. So much. Mobile defense. Cool. Integrated support. Sure. Yeah, hospital 4 is great. Great. That's more than good. It's great. Cool. You should be able to win there. Should is a good word. Come there. And move there. Should be able to do that. Yep. Pretty darn nicely. Come up that way. Send happy guys up to there. Yep. A weak and motorized division is great to destroy. And we should have it very soon. There we go. Ah, Mexico. I love... Oh, thanks for the early motorized Mexico. I appreciate it. I really do. Good. Break over there. This is going to be really ugly. Seabert, do you have anything for us? No, that's okay though. You know what? Since we're on this gravy train, we must as well go this way then. Government sacrifice schools. Cool. Nice. Come down here. We can just destroy Iowa and, was it Nebraska or something around here? South Dakota. Oh, God, I love South Dakota. Come on, guys, get in there. Do you guys have logistics? Yes, you do. Field hospitals would be a waste, though. Cool. Give it some time. We're going to get Des Moines. I want at least one infantry division in here. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Force attack. Full force attack. You guys do that. You guys do that. Infantry is looking great. We should be able to have a massive push next. After this, I'm going to try a massive push. Look at that. It's only four divisions. It's only four divisions, which really kind of sucks. But you know what? It is what it is. It's needed. It's necessary. It's good. Collapse on them here. That would be nice. You can help support the attack. You won't really need to help it too much, though, but that's okay. Beautiful. Get rid of them. Get rid of that. Really stretching out their front lines, which is a, an amazing thing. All right. So, let's prepare our soldiers. They're going to yell that planning. And I am going to make sure that we, with these divisions, focus on the mountainous areas to the left. I want DC to be one of the last remaining bastions. I want all this back under Canadian territory. Because we could try it and assault this way, too. Uh, probably won't work out that well, but that's okay. Oh boy, July 3rd, 1919. What's going on? Did someone capitulate? Uh-oh. Treaty of Severus. Exhaustion, fall back on all fronts. The Ottoman Empire has finally surrendered. Okay. Today, an armistice will sign into the city of Severus, in which the Ottoman Empire lost all of the Middle East and became the Republic of Turkey. Great celebration is erupted across the Entente as they draw closer to victory. War draws closer to end. So we lost France, but they lost Turkey. Why did France get that? They're out of the war. What the heck? Iraq. Wow, that's a... That's a photo. 
That's a picture. Hey, happy fat guy. Armand Falieres. I don't know. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, the Russians really haven't pushed further into Prussia or Austria, but that's okay with me. All right, you guys ready to go? You should be able to go. All right, well, Godspeed. We'll see what happens when I run out of guns. Oh, wait, I'm already out of guns. Um, see what happens, everyone, after I put maybe some fighters? I did get some fighters, so that's really nice. Here we go. I like the green, but it's always green initially. Gave you guys more force attack. These are the bread and butter. If the infantry can't win, so be it. This is going to be, hopefully, the last push that we need to destroy the American army. Oh, we're fighting Republic of Turkey in Hejaz. They have less than 100 divisions. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. More reliability. Can I throw that on here? Yes, I can. What's it going to cost? More support equipment? We can afford it. Oh, we took Chicago. We took Chicago. Come on, guys. We are taking more of regular Virginia air bombing. Good. I also did got more extra research slots. Aviation effort three. Thank you. Yeah, we need more guns. Nice. We're doing okay so far, especially in the Midwest. Oh, we have Detroit. Everyone loves Detroit, I think, right? Yeah, everyone loves Detroit. Good. Southern Ontario. And we'll come to Winnipeg. And then we'll do a couple more of this. A couple more of that. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this I knew this wouldn't go very well over here. Which is fine, whatever. Uh, are we doing cipher stuff at all? Yes, we are. We don't have quite have it yet. That's okay. Casualties are pouring in, probably. But we got, hey, the mitten of Michigan. That's pretty nice. Hey, we liberated a portion of Canada. We almost got in circle. Fall of DC, we have the capital. Com uh, Confederate troops finally took the city of Washington, DC, occupying it for the first time since the secession of the South. US forces have withdrawn north of the city and are expected to make a counterattack. Good luck with that, boy. Good luck. Smashing your cities. Oh, even over here, we're doing kind of okay ish. You help them out, help them out, help them out. Good stuff. How are you guys faring? Oh, you guys are pretty darn spread out. Come on, get get Wisconsin. Oh, we're actually pushing over here too. That's really nice. A two-pronged attack over here? Yes, please. You have nowhere to retreat to. Oh, we just overran another division. This is the end of America. USA offers peace at the... As the last major in the Central Powers, the USA has finally realized the struggle is pointless and it's offered terms of peace. Victory is ours. We will give no quarter. Continue the fighting. Um, I'm not really sure what this does. Just because there's in the focus tree, there's no, there's no indication of what will happen afterwards. I want to say yes, we can have some peace. But I might be disappointed at the in the peace still if we don't keep fighting. Because Germany will lose eventually. But this is historical, so we'll just go with victory is ours. Let's see what happens. Treaty of Washington, with all their allies now out of the war, the U.S. has finally surrendered. Did an armistice was signed in the American city of Washington, in which the U.S. lost several of its states. Great celebrations erupted across the Confederacy as they beat their northern rivals once more. The war is finally over. Uh, cool. The U.S. is out. Okay, so this isn't... Why did... Why did they get that? Um, okay, dudes. Yeah, I don't know if that was really worth it. It's honestly probably not worth it at all. I, I don't want the Mormons here. I, I, I prefer owning the Mormons manually. Just just saying. Um, yeah, all, all that fighting for what? I mean, yeah, we got New Mexico and Arizona. Um, I would say that's probably not worth it. We did get Maryland and the rest of Virginia. Which is okay. But, uh... We're still fighting Germany and Austria. Hungary. Yeah, I don't know. I would prefer a different piece deal, to be frank with you. Oh, there's the UK. Oh, we're fighting Brazil, too. That sucks. But, uh, yeah, I would definitely prefer a different piece deal. Oh, there goes Bulgaria. That's nice. Mm. Yeah, I should have went with the other piece deal. But, you know what? That's okay. We all learn. We should all learn from our mistakes. And go with that. Cool. Well, we've won. We smashed the Americanos up here. And you guys are probably going to be expanding out a little bit further like this. But I'm not really sure how you're going to be expanding. There you go. Go that way. Horses. If I could send you somewhere else to help, like, win the war, I will. 
Well, does anyone want to go make a trip to Bulgaria? I don't want to lose everyone here, but we'll see what happens. Where are you, how are you guys going to get over there? Now oh, austria hungary still here. That's disgusting. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, public recognition of the Mormon ex government in exile? I think we're okay. I don't think we need to do that. Uh, Bulgaria, what are you doing up here? We gotta kill those guys off too. Put back. Yeah, no. In the peace deal, I'm pretty sure this would be given back to Canada. I'm just saying, like, that's ridiculous. In the peace deal, yeah, no. That's why I use the State Treasure Tool mod. No, thank you. I appreciate it, but no thanks. Well, we're victorious. We should get, like, like 10% more stability if we win the war, just because if either side would win the war, you get more stability, probably. To be honest with you. And do we have these as cores? No? Honestly, with Maryland, I mean, this is an alternative timeline. Maryland is still pretty southern, even in an alternative timeline. Like, that should be... You should be able to integrate them, I should say. You should be able to integrate them. Missouri? We should have been able to get Missouri as well. If not bleeding Kansas, maybe. And at that point, you might as well take Colorado, and then... Like, they should divide up California into two... Like, two... Like, Southern, Color Southern California, Northern California. I think that might have been a little better if they did that. But right now, I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens when Germany collapses. I think that'd be a good thing to wait for. Uh, what do you guys got? No, I don't want it. Please. I don't want your trash. That's the case. Good. Well, ship-wise, we're doing pretty darn well. Uh, you can stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. I want everyone to come down to Florida. Or actually, everyone come to Norfolk. Come home, repair, and then we'll see what we can do about the Germans, because the Germans should be close to dying too. Boer Revolt. Cool. 2.3 million. 1.2. You guys have not even a million. There are a lot of divisions you guys don't have. You have more divisions, that's okay. Um, yeah, you guys are flooding through here, which is great. The Balkans are what they did not expect to do well. Words. Difficult. Yes, very that's the case. You know what? Send these guys over. Uh, Austria Hungary, not a huge deal. I prefer learning about Germany, but you know what? Both are important. Both are quite important, I would say. Aviation effort three, very good. Artillery effort four, sure, why not? Got to coming out through here. Come on, trucks, give it up. Another hundred fighters? Sure. How many planes they got over there? Hey, there goes Turkey! Oh! I honestly don't think I should really get any part of the Ottoman Empire or Republic of Turkey. I'll give it all to good old Rush after I click a few more times here. I will probably maybe give Hejaz to the UK, though. That probably makes more sense. There you go. Oh, yeah, and that too. A few more clicks here and there. And we should have a good amount of points to give at least a little something-something to all Russia. It's weird that they white pieced out, but I guess technically France did. But they didn't lose any of their territory. So, which was very weird. And we should do it. Three, two, one. Boom. Alright, let's see what we can do. They do not have enough points for that yet. We're close, though. Almost there. Sorry, just give me a moment. Um, yeah, this is all going to Russia, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Actually, we should probably give should have given some of the stuff to Serbia, but Serbia is gone right now. You know, they should be back really soon. I make it sound like they are like on a lunch break or something. Cool. Good job, Russia. Good job. Actually, I'm gonna yeah, I'll give this to uh, Serbia when we're done. Once we can actually see more of Serbia, I'll, we'll probably do that. You guys are heading over. Um, if that's the case, please, ships. Actually, everyone come here. And, oh boy. Oh my god, what are you doing going over that way? Are you kidding me? God, you guys are nuts. You can get killed by the German naval forces, even though they might not be using them. They got zeppelins, though. They even had the little cross on the zeppelins. That's really cool. 
That was actually very, very cool. And I got Nisp back. Nice. The Austro-Hungarians can't stand up to this. Yeah, they got less than, probably less than 50 soldiers, to be frank with you. Good. Integrated support. Nice. Let's grab some of that. Overwhelming firepower. Come on, guys. Need only 10,000 guns, that's all. Man, there's a lot of guys down here. If anything, I'll probably move my soldiers up to this area here, perhaps. Maybe, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Romania's not in the war either. Passive defense, sure. Even more passive defense sounds nice. I guess you can't get over there, so. Good luck. You got plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. So, oh, we're almost landed in Königsberg. Wow. That's actually really impressive. If that's the case, you know what? You're going to just stay here in Germany. Oh, it's over a river, kind of. Right here is where we can send our soldiers. There you go. Meet the Confederate horses, as well as tanks. Oh, what are you? Oh, hello. You're all the way down there. Okay, well, whatever. Ah, look at that. That's beautiful. This, let's go ahead and give this to you guys. Since they were defeated, it only makes sense to do this. Bulgaria doesn't get anything because they were an enemy. There you go. Serbia, East Macedonia, I think so. And this helps Russia with less guns needed to help well, rebellions and resistance and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is, still goes to Serbia. Good. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, we're actually pushing very well down here. I like it. You guys, you're actually in the battle too. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're going to learn a lot, Mason. A lot. I just hope so. They're on the horse. Losses, 13 million, not bad. We lost 72,000 so far. Uh, I'm sure Russia lost the most with 2.72. Yeah, that's a lot. Honestly, I wish there was a way to integrate the... Wait, oh, wait, hold on. Before I say anything else, let me see this real quick. That's fine. That's good. Wait, are you really a puppet of ours? I would love to... In no, you're not. You're in the same faction. Come, you saints. I would like to see there's a way to integrate the Mormons into us. Because we like, we like the Native Americans or Indians. I mean, why can't we have Mormons? Please join us. I'd love that. And I don't like this, either. I don't like that Canada owns Washington. I really don't. That, that's, that's bad borders. That's just straight bad borders, man. Anything here that I care about? Not really. More naval invasion stuff? Nah. We got six research slots. That's so nice. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now, that's a, that's the biggest Montenegro I've ever seen. Holy cow. Serbia's looking pretty nice and thick as well. Artillery effort four, very good. Aircraft production, nice. And are we still defending here? Well, we got all six guys here. We'll see what happens. They might still attack us again, but the Germans are like, oh my goodness, the Austro-Hungarians are dying down here. And they're like, oh, we actually, yeah, there's quite a few German divisions down here. Um, I mean, you could help out there. How about you guys go out this way, though? You should be able to win. Oh, uh, hello, Von Below. Or Bulow. Cool. Do that. Am I even making any bombers? Good. Very nice. Ah, uh, even the Germans can't stand up to Confederate horses. Ah. Beautiful, I swear. Oh, well, that even took Vienna. Nice. You know, I've been thinking this in the back of my mind for the past half hour. This is probably going to be the final episode, just to see what happens. I just want to see what happens. You know what, since we're here, you might as well push these guys over the river back as well. Give them a little more port sack. Look at these veterans. The Cherokee Cavaliers, I love them so much. I could send my entire army, but I don't want to ruin my... Um, Supply. Supply here could be really bad. Man, that is one way to divide up Hungary. You de literally divide it over here, Trans Danubia. 
and then uh, under Montenegro, and then Serbia gets this other half of chunk of Hungary. Oh, they're coming towards Prague very soon. Better watch out. Better watch out. Hey, we've almost linked up. Uh, attacking over here is probably a little bit too suicidal for my tastes. Oh, yeah. Even better heavy tanks. Um, anything else over here? No. Maybe better resource efficiency, efficiency gain. Yeah, sure. Sure, guys. I'll take some more rifles. I love rifles. Let's see. Reliability needs to go up. There you go. We lose a little bit of speed. Do that. No more engine. There you go. Minus zero. I don't mind that. For more piercing, more heart attack, more armor, and more reliability. Yes, please. Oh, actually. And don't forget about these guys. These guys can be pretty nice to get as well. Um, lower this to 15, just in case. Lower this to 5. Lower this to 12, so we spread out the factories a little bit more nicely amongst everyone. That'd be good. You guys should be able to reach. There's only two divisions there. Oh my goodness, that's nice. That is so nice. Romania didn't join the war either, which is weird. Good, good. You guys should be able to beat these guys up here. Nice. Hmm. Could do war bombs, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, half a million manpower isn't bad either, so. Good. Prague is a frontline city. Great. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. You guys got this. Come on. Let's see. 86% of the way there. It hasn't increased that much. You know what? Come, oh, come on. That's so not cool. Come on, break them, break them, break them. I want to get down here. I want to get to those lines and circle all these guys and just destroy them. Come on. We did it. Woo, we broke over the lines. Good job, guys. Immediately begin attacking this way, though. Hey, but you're going to hold. Actually, you're not going to hold. You're going to help attack. Cancel the lease. So be it. Whatever. Oh, that's just because we have a surplus now. Good. I don't need you guys. You know what? I can send a couple divisions this way. That's fine. I don't think we really need it anymore. That's okay, though. Aircraft production 2. Uh, aircraft aviation effort 4. Not bad. Oh, oh god. We're so close to encircling these guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Regimental combat teams. Very good. Ram battle fleet. Grab some of this. Yeah, we can't really find much with this uh, navy right now, which makes sense. Air doctrine I've kind of ignored completely, but whatever. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, we can't quite win here yet. That's okay. Hold. He's a trickster, which is nice. But you can't probably break that way. Can they pierce my tanks? They can't. Good. Come on. Plus, what are you learning? Not much. You're not really learning much. That's okay. 84, 85, 86, 87. Come on. Oh, actually, we all we need is that tile. That's okay, though. Maintenance 3, maintenance 4. Come on, and... We won that battle. Immediately do that. You guys are not going to attack. Because you're going to hold the line. But you're going to help support the attack. We do that. All these guys are cut off. All of them. And that's the end of the... That's basically the end of the war. Because of the Confederate Cavaliers. Come on, break, break. Yes! We've done it, my friends. We've done it. We have reached the Allied lines. Or the Entente lines. Beautiful. Now this... It spells the end. This is the end. Oh, they're abandoning the front. Alright. I won't attack yet. Our guys need more organization. They're getting hit by attrition just by a little bit. Um, good horses. Looking mighty fine. Anyone over here? If you need a train, go right ahead. Actually, this is going to just kick up my guns. It's probably a bad idea to do this. Yeah, this would be a really bad idea. Let's take you guys first. There you go. 
become god tier. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Help him out. Come on, Russia. Attack a little harder. I wonder when the Mexicans are going to show up, too. Oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. They take their time. That's fine. Good. We are taking this industrial city. It's close to Krakow. I'm not sure what it is. This should be next. I mean, they're getting a little bit of supply from here, but that's okay. Wow, I really need to make sure we got more tanks. Wow. Oh, we're, we're, out, we're done building things, huh? Well, do we have any more room? I guess. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Ah, beautiful. Wow, zero infrastructure. Oh, you know, I've been through West Virginia like a few times. And I know it's 1920 in a turn of the timeline. But I don't think they'd have zero infrastructure, would they? Wow, even Japan has navally invaded Belgium. Uh, uh, was Belgium annexed? They might have been just straight up annexed after France gave up. And the French are doing jumping jacks, preparing for war. Good job, guys. Austria, Hungary, you've got to fall. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Krakow. The siege of Krakow shall commence very soon. Once our soldiers are in line, we have some Mexican divisions here as well, it looks like. Maybe? Yes, we do. Aw, oh, yeah. Go, go, go. When the Mexicans and Confederates show up to take Krakow, you know things are serious. Very, very serious. Uh, you know what? Let's increase stability. We already have 93%, but whatever. That's fine with me. Come on. Win. Succeed. Breach. Learn something new. Cavalier. Cavalry officer. Organizer. Very nice stuff. Up out and crack out. That is the last point. That means zero supply in here. Literally zero supply. And then we can take Prague, which we actually might take already. Austria Hungary is done. They have capitulated. They are no more. And I want to see this peace deal, man. I really do. Take Prague out. Take Prague out. Oh, look at that green down near the south. Even Japan. Japanese Belgium is what we have here, my friends. I don't think I've ever said that before in a game. Or in a campaign. Or anywhere. Anywhere. Japanese Belgium. What type of enlightened times are we living in? Come from here. Strike through the center. Research doesn't matter. Go, go, go. And we shall do aviation innovation and focus. Sure. And everyone back home is just training. Or maybe war eventually. Um, sure. Why not? Go, go, go. Germany's got to get closer to capitulating. They've lost almost roughly 9 million. Wow. Wow. Light barrels. I can do that one. That's fine with me. You can't really do much else since everything else is 1938, which is a little bit way too ahead of time for us. Or way too far away for us. Look at that. That's beautiful. Good job, guys. France, you were pathetic. You gave up too early. They, honestly, I was surprised they gave up. Like, they gave up very early, surprisingly. Like, I was expecting them to lose, like, Paris before they gave up. They didn't even lose Paris, I think, before they capitulated. That's okay, though. Berlin's a frontline city. Come on, learn, learn, learn. I wish I had some coffee or some tea here, but that's okay. I might be a caffeine addict. I don't know. I have problems. Whatever. Oh, I love the Mexicans. I love the horses. God, we gotta erect a couple of statues or monuments to these Mexican soldiers and horse leaders and General or Field Marshal Bliss and Mason Patrick. Oh, man. Amazing things. Oh yeah, we're just we're just going to town. Berlin has been taken. Munich has been taken. Nuremberg has been taken. Metz has been taken. Uh, I don't think I'm going to give Alsace Lorraine back to France because it capitulated. Hmm. Actually, hmm. We'll see what happens. I was I just want to see the peace deal at this point. Howitzers. You know what? Go ahead. It's only 1,600 days ahead of time. Hamburg is a capital city. Germany has basically collapsed. It's a now, roughly 9 million casualties. We have lost 79,000 in total against Austria-Hungary. Mostly Austria-Hungary. And a little bit against Germany. The war is over. Time to take all the score and divvy up what I think we should be good. Alright, UK, you can have Ireland. 
you can have a bunch of these colonies too. So Italy never got involved. That is interesting to say the least. That is quite interesting. I'm a little surprised they actually didn't get involved at all. The Ottomans came in a little later, which is fine. Give me you. This video is going to be a pretty long, so sorry about that, but uh, you probably already knew that at point, by the time you watched this. Um, yeah, I don't want that. You know what? Maybe, maybe I will take that. We could have some colonies. I think Confederate colonies would be a nice thing. Alright, so, Russia. You can have this region. Um, yeah, there you go. Including that area. Russia. Can I give you puppets? No. Um, this is, like I said earlier, the final episode in this campaign. Russia, you can have this area too. You know what? I'm just gonna give Russia all of Austria Hungary. They can deal with do with it whatever they want. Good. Good. It's too bad Italy didn't come into the war. They could take in a little bit of land, but whatever. There you go. Oh, Brazil. Um technically they're in my sphere of influence, but what I'm about to do to Germany is gonna be ugly. I'm going to give it to the UK because they were fighting them for the most part. So. There you go. Uh, Austria Hungary, you still exist? Oh. Ah, uh, that's the that Poland always liked to occupy. Alright, so here we go. This is going to be ugly. Oh, so Belgium did literally just all capitulate. What I'm going to do is this. I get liberty to try to supervise state satellite Belgium, satellite the Kingdom of Bavaria. Hmm. China. Do they own provinces of Hello. Thank you. I'll take that. Lithuania. Hmm. Just because the peace deal like this is just so wonky, I want Russia to like be able to puppet this stuff but using Plato the Peace Conferences, it can't happen. Uh you know what? We'll do that. I'll do that. I'll take Belgium. I honestly shouldn't be taking all this stuff. We'll take Lithuania. Well, actually, never mind. That's, that would be really ugly. Do that. I want those states freed. Supervised state. Just do a supervised state. That's fine. So basically, Germany lost nothing except Bavaria. I wonder if there's like some sort of scripted peace deal. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, but you're led by Peter. I didn't know Peter was a... Well, I mean, Peter is kind of a German name, I suppose. Uh, you guys are led by Friedrich Ebert. Ebert, massive effort. And I guess that's going to be the campaign. Um, I guess that's it? Maybe? And Belgium's back, of course. We got Bavaria with us. Uh, let's see. You're led by Albert I. Very cool, very cool. You don't really have a unique focus tree, which is fine. So Romania never entered the war. Italy never entered the war. But the Entente's looking pretty nice. Russia never fell to communism. And we're doing pretty darn well. Oh, the Republic of China's here. We do, we do own, as the Confederacy, a small little piece of Chinese territory. We have Germany as a supervised state. That is now democratic. We have the Kingdom of Bavaria under us. Russia got really flippin' thick. R Romania looks really kind of tiny compared to Russia. They even took all of Turkey. But, you know what? I guess that's a campaign. Nothing else is going to happen. There's no scripted peace deal. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.